hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to cut and sew a bridal rope or a satin rope hope you keep watching and hope you enjoy <music> I'm going to be making use of two yards of satin. It's a long length. Yeah, so I've folded my fabric into four parts. So we have the center back. And then the other side is the center front, which is going to have a four inch extension. So right from the center back, I'll mark four inches. So I am going to use the selvage of the satin as the hem. So that means I'm not going to add a hemming allowance. But if you do not want to use the selvage, then you have to add about one and half to two inches hemming allowance to your length. So I'm going to be using 36 inches as the length. And I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. That is to join the shoulders together. So right from the bottom part, I'll mark 36 inches. And then I'll connect with a straight ruler. So right from there i'll mark my chest point i mark nine you can also mark ten because it's a free rope it doesn't have any fitted part so there is my center front okay so the rope is a free rope so for the shoulder measurement i'm going to divide my shoulder by two and then i'll add about two inches so the shoulder measurement is 15 divided by two is seven and a half so the two inches will make up to nine and a half so the two inches is just for the ease for the shoulder to also drop since it's something that is free you can go ahead and drop as much as you want so i marked a neck width of two and a half you can also mark three inches depending on how you want your rope to be and i mark a neck depth of one and a half so right from the shoulder point i'm going to mark one inch down and this is going to serve as a shoulder slope and from there I'll mark quarter of my bust measurement plus one and a half for ease and half inch for sewing allowance so right from the bottom part I'm just going to make a straight point a straight line to the bust point it's a free rope so I'm going to connect my armhole together and that will be all for the armhole and for the neck of the front I'll come down by 10 inches you can also come down by 11 inches it all depends on you so I'm going to notch the neck width to indicate the neck width at the front and then I'll connect to the 10 inch point yeah so from there i'm just going to make a nice curve right from the neck width of the front down as shown
yeah so i'll go ahead and measure the armhole of the rope and this is going to help me to cut the sleeve So I folded another fabric into four equal parts and then with your desired length you cut out so I, I used 12 and half and I'm going to be adding a band to the 12 and half so that means it's going to be longer than the 12 and half yeah so I'll go ahead and cut yeah at this point I'll just cut <laughs> my scissors was playing games with me so I had to sharpen it and so this is how I sharpen my scissors anytime I feel it becomes blunt and it helps so much you see the way it is cutting very sharp afterwards yeah so back to business i'm going to give a nice curve to serve as the armhole of the sleeve and then i'll mark the same measurement i had for the armhole of the rope so i had 10 inches so for the bottom part of the sleeve i'll go in by one inch from the 10 inch so that means i have nine inch to have a and little slope not that straight yeah you can also decide to leave it straight doesn't really matter okay so i'll go ahead and cut a long belt at least it should, it should be more than twice um, your waist measurement so I had about 72 by two and a half inches so I also cut the band for the sleeve yeah so for the sewing part I'll start by sewing the belt and turning it inside out I also attach the band to the sleeve So at this point, I pinned the shoulder, the shoulders together and I sewed a half an inch allowance. So I went ahead to give them a very good press. So afterwards, after joining the shoulders, I'm going to measure from one side of the front through to the neckline of the back and through to the other side of the front if that makes sense so the measurements i get i'm going to cut out the, my desired width i cut out i think two and a half by the the measurement i got and so that's what i'm going to use around the neckline of the front and the back if I'm making sense though so at this point I am joining the sleeve to the rope I also attach the band so I'm starting from the center back I'm just pinning them all together and then afterwards I'll sew them together with a half an inch allowance Yeah. 
so after doing all this you should knit in it before you joined before you join the site but at this point i've started joining the site it's going to give you a nice finish when you knit in it and so this rope can fit um, a size 8 and a size 10 body size so i also went ahead and attached a belt loop to both sides that way the belt will stay together yeah so this is the outcome if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and i really hope you enjoyed this video okay so see you in my next video bye